Well, we're going to play it for you right now, get a little sense of it. This is the show. Sometime, it's probably right around the final four to get a little juice. Here you go. I wanted the tape show. I mean, I know the tape's going to show me not choking the kid. I mean, I was glad to have the tape show. My name is Robert Abbott. For me, it all began in 1999 when three former high school All-Americans left Bob Knight's Indiana University basketball program, and my boss at CNN asked me to find out why. This guy was a basketball genius, and discipline was at, at the core of that. Sometimes behind great success, there are things that we'd rather not know about. It was a story about power and the abuse of power. Are you at the ground? I think you're constantly playing in fear. You're being intimidated. Guard Neil Reed says he is leaving school and it's not his call. I've had an eyewitness saying Coach Knight put his hand around Neil's throat. The basketball program was denying everything. I've got to tell you my side of this thing. There was almost no one in the state of Indiana who was more powerful. I know there's a tape out there. I haven't seen it, but I know there is a tape out there. We got the video. Indiana University may ask Bobby Knight to step down as head basketball coach. Looks good. <laughs> That's that uh, boy Knight. Boy, so I'll tell you right now, Sandy Monta, you're going to like that. That is, <laughs> he represents Knight. That is a very, that looks good. That looks, looks good. very good. That didn't look like the best depiction. No, that looked like no. I don't think Knight. I don't think Knight cooperated. Yeah, I, I highly doubt. He said, "Yeah, come on over, mic, mic me up." <laughs> yeah, uh, that is wow, fascinating. His temper always got him in trouble. That looks good. Yeah, that's uh, your out. That's your oh, alma mater. I will be in. No, not really. Oh yes, it is. I, I mean, that's uh, Bobby Knight. That's your history. Well, Bobby yeah, Knight. I'll be into that for that, sure. That, 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 he's your guy. Did you ever see the uh, the Showtime? I think it was Showtime. I did. did I saw it. Well, that was good, a right? Montag production with Seth Greenberg. It was very good. Yeah, it was good. It was about the, uh, the perfect those season. two teams. Yeah. yeah, it was. I mean, there's always a bright side and a bad yeah. side with Knight. That's the way it is. And who is his uh, disciple? Who You know, Belichick looks up to Bill Parcells. Who's the one guy in the world that Bill looks up to? Bob Knight. That's right. Did you know that? Yeah, I mean, I knew they, they were both, close. They were both an army at the same yeah. time. But... Bill looks up to Knight. Knight doesn't look up to Bill. It's Bill. Knight is, I mean, that's the ladder. Mm -hmm. Belichick at the bottom, Bill in the middle, Knight at the top. Interesting. I, I mean, that's what I always used to think, and I know Bill loves Knight, loves him. Yeah. Well, I knew they were tight. Right. You saw Frank De, the late Frank DeFord yeah. was in that piece. So they've been working on this for a while. Yeah, so that will be interesting. So we'll get a chance uh, to pay. Good yeah. job, Steve. Okay, I'm, Chris. Good afternoon. Uh, here is Brian on the car phone. He's on Mad Dog Unleashed. Brian, good afternoon. How are you today, pal? Okay? I'm good, Chris. How you doing? All right? All right, Brian. Nice to have you with us. What's on your mind? Shoot. You know, I, you know. well, first I am a uh, sort of a refugee. Been listening for a long time, but... Well, good to have you aboard. Good to have you back with us. What's going on today? <laughs> You know, you're talking about all the McDaniel stuff, and, you know. So angry you know, with the, if they're so angry with the Colts, why didn't Kraft tell McDaniels way back in early January not to go interview for the job? Well, maybe he's not going to tell him before because, you know, quote-unquote, he's a big boy. He can do what he wants. But then... Once he wants to go to the Colts, maybe he says, mm, you know, maybe you stay here for a little while. We don't know how long Bill's going to be here. We don't know how long anybody else is going to be here. And maybe this is your gig afterwards. Um, but I don't know. I and, and I'm someone who hates the Patriots. I can't stand McDaniels. I can't stand anybody there. But, I mean, if, if you're in his shoes and you kind of talk to them and say, hey, this, this uh, you know, I'm in. I want to do this for the Colts. And then you sit back and think about it. And you're going to yet another Super Bowl with New England, and then you think about going to Indy with Luck, who, you know, may have to have his arm reattached with needle and thread, for God's sakes. And then you look at it, is, is, is it a better gig for him to kind of lay in wait and be with a really successful team well, for first, a couple more years? I get it. Take over? Now, now, remember, a couple things about it. Um, re replacing the legend is not easy. 
Ask Phil Benston. You know, ask Ray Hanley. Uh, we, I, I know that Seifert had some success, but he had Montana there and then Young. And remember, Brady's going to be old and finished by the time that he gets the job as the head coach and Garoppolo's out. So, I mean, replacing Belichick in New England will be very, very difficult. Plus, he's burned every bridge now for every other franchise in the NFL. So this is the only place he can be. So, I mean, you have to think of the consequences for McDaniels. And I wonder if he thought this out. You know, if you do this to the Colts, you're writing your deal with Patriots, and that's it. This is your only chance that you only place you can get a job. Now, he can have a job there forever as the assistant, and he probably will get the job when Belichick leaves. But, you know, he's not going to get that job for life. If he's not successful, out he goes. So there's a lot of... You know, there's a lot of ramifications for him in what he did here today. I hopefully he understands it. Mike is in Orange County, California. Michael, good afternoon. Hey, Chris, how are you? Fine, Mike. Um, thank you. Know, you. I, What's up? Let me. On, on Sunday night, uh, Indianapolis had to be rooting for New England. The only way he was going to be coming over here is if they if they won. If they won that game, he'd be the coach of that team. Right? I, somebody else asked that just a little while ago, and it's a good point. Uh, you wonder if the loss made Kraft a little bit more, uh, uh, you know, committed to bring him back to get everybody off the Malcolm Butler thing and, you know, to keep the team intact off this defeat. You'll wonder if that had something to do with it. Uh, And maybe as a result, he was a little bit more convincing. That's a very fair point. We're never going to know that. Go ahead. Next. Well, to a degree, it's almost, I don't know if it's the right phrase, but, you know, he hedged his bet. You know, he knew either way in the Kraft's, you know, and the thing was, though, they assumed they were going to win that game until they lost it. So, you know, the NFL, I guess, has to do something. And I don't know what they do. Like you said, what can they possibly do to prevent this from happening again in the future? Well, the only thing they can do, they can do a couple things. One, they can make sure nobody can hire a coach until after the season is completed for everybody. And or they can say that you are allowed to sign a coach and actually go through a press conference. You know, in the in in a bye week. Now, the the existing team that has him on their staff and they're in a playoff game, they won't like that. But that would eliminate if you know McDaniel's actually had a press conference in Indianapolis, spent a day there during the Tennessee week. You know, maybe he'd be a little less inclined and had signed his name to a paper. Maybe he'd be a little less inclined. I wonder if McDaniel's is having any um, second thoughts here the other way now. I mean, he got dropped by the agent. He's getting destroyed all over the place. Uh, he looks bad. I wonder if there's an uh, if, if he says, "Geez, did I, what did I do here? Did I actually do this?" Maybe there's a sense there that he kind of regrets the decision. Who knows? Jackson is in Illinois. Mad Dog Unleashed. Jackson, good afternoon. Your turn. Good afternoon, Mad Dog. Hey, I I hadn't listened to you guys maybe three or four months. I used to listen to Mike and Mike every morning and. Then uh, Greenberg left, and they brought in that uh, other guy, and that was like an abortion. I couldn't handle that anymore. But to me, I think that uh, Trubisky will win a, a playoff game before Bradford because I, 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 I believe, like you, he is really overrated. But the other point is – That's it. You're talking about Sam Bradford now? Yeah, yeah, Bradford, yeah. I'm well, sorry. He's, never, he's never healthy, so that's his issue. He never plays. Right. Well, I think Trubisky will win a playoff game before he will. Not but impossible. The point is, Go do ahead. you think that Kraft, after they lost that game, that some of the players and he was so pissed off that that I think Belichick's years are numbered because they could have won that game with Malcolm Butler, in my opinion. I'm not a Patriots fan, but I think that kind of wrinkled some feathers. He didn't. He didn't need to wrinkle. Uh, you know, I I, I can't answer that. Uh, and you know, no matter what Belichick does in this Super Bowl, I, I don't think if you're if you're a craft, you can, you know, push him out the door, even gently. Uh, Belichick has earned the right to leave Foxborough when he wants to leave Foxborough. Now, uh, you know, he gave himself a little cushion craft maybe by, you know, quote unquote, making this guy the interim coach in McDaniels. But uh, even if he wanted to get rid of, I don't know why he would, but he did get to the Super Bowl. But if you wanted to get rid of Belichick, I don't see how in the world you can until he decides he wants to leave. 12 in front of the hour. Continuing on Mad Dog on Power Hour.